Every story begins at the end of another. a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing, of guiding. Baba, help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me.
Kalunga, god of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow, Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed. I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba. A sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail... Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. But do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman. My father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action, but you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. at these statues with anguish, Nganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here, to Patakatifu. We would admire these statues with fear, awe. My Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we passed through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of facing the great spirits. No. I am reminded of my Baba.
powerful mask. I use the mask to channel my power. It is the mask of the moon. Baba taught me the ways. Graceful is the flow, a harmony soaked in virtuous intent. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. <laughs> Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. Spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side, and these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. No matter, there must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love, the fiery flames of noble intentions. Mm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Only time will tell. The sun, the moon, I must embrace the dance. resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever.
the key. Uh, I cannot reach it. Shaman, fury and grace. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Makifo. of fear only inspiration it is coming I want to go closer but I'm not sure approach it now awaken its energy the boy stood before a being he was familiar with yet a stranger to The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Staring to him, he felt the heat of a manifested form, something tangible, something real. Yet the eyes told Zhao a different tale, a distance in the pupils, a coldness that clung. Meeting death is never an easy thing. The lives of this world danced to his melody, slept to his lullaby, lamented to his dirge. At least, that is what they say. Yet Zhao stood and greeted him in a world of perfect silence. No grandeur or ceremony. Just death, a boy, and a haunting request. to the gate.
Zhao, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba, get to the great spirit. that hold dominion over the skies. She is the mother that gives the warm embrace when the endless sea above is a coursing blue. Even in the cloudiest of days, she waits behind the veil to reassure. He is the father, there in the darkness. Though the shadows lay heavy, the light brings reprieve, ushers forth the path to a sweet lilting clarity. The warmth and the light, bound together in a harmony fueled by the balance. The collective parent, protecting, guiding. Zhao held the masks of the sun and the moon to the highest adoration for as long as the dominion was close, the embrace would never leave him. cannot wait. Hey, move please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait. Another obstruction! The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge! Hmm, I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me! It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. 
girl up by the bridge. She was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Not every challenge needs a challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it, one that only we can use. All I have to do is get through it, prove my worthiness as a shaman. Hmm. The choice as always is yours. If you believe you can, then you must, but be cautious. Shaman's trinket. See how delicate it is. Powerful, too. Yes, you are lucky, Zhao. This power in the wrong hands would be disastrous. Today, it has found a hopeful host. You are a shaman of Kinzera. Use this power how the others would have wanted for good, for greatness. weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. Yet, beyond their door, a different story unfolded. He would hear the cautioned orders of the warriors ferrying the people onto the long roads away. He remembered now the cries of children as they left their homes, and the louder sobs of the elders that knew they may never see their lands again. Those that did not flee succumbed to the growing darkness of the world. One, then another than another, falling by a cruel grip of survival that none could sustain, that none could strengthen. It was the slow fall of time that brought the sickness to his home, to his Baba. The safety of the door mattered little now. The pain and the hearth became as one. I 
think that I bridge with best man. Yes, I did. Hmm. Shows how much faith you have in me. Yes, it does. for spy. Do not underestimate them, though. seek to offend or harm. Truly, they are good people. Their only wish is to care. They rejuvenate and welcome others. They help. Come, take a moment. A traveler must rest to know the ground has shifted. his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. 
The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba Stone. <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Bamba Stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well. Shamans get shines. No. The actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not. echoed in Zhao's ears as he ventured through these ancient caverns. The elated laugh of a child as she splashed her mother. The sloshing of pots filled with the clean, tranquil water brought to a family to cook together, to be together. The waters around the boy fell and cascaded onto themselves with a will of their own. In a way, it was a reminder to Zhao to take comfort in the simple wonders of our world to behold the humble incarnations of nature. He welcomed this reminder again and again, each step a longing dream of the distant tranquility.
have a shrine, as will I. When I bring him back, they will tell our tale, our Hedithi. I will show you. Focus on the now, Zhao. I am focusing. I know what to do. Return to the surface and seek out this Ikakaramanga. Surprising to see an Ikakaramban. When the storms became violent, most had fled. Or was. What is the girl doing out here all alone? Who is she calling to? All questions for the girl to answer. Until then, you should be considering your apology to her. You frightened her, Sao. You owe her one at the very least. Mm. The Basenji's sorry lick is mightier than its proud bite. Okay, I get it. Zhao knew them to be real. 
From where they came, his baba had said they bored plenty on the hot ever summer nights. The music was fierce as it echoed through their lands, the singing loud and dripped in merriment. These yambos, these good people, they danced, turning and swaying with their shadows in the warm light of the fire. Until now, only the tall trees of their realm saw such joy. Now the hero saw them too, as warm as the kindest embrace, as happy as the softest lullaby. Naive, perhaps, but they mean well. <laughs> I do like them. And I starve some creatures out here that are not trying to maim me. that you do not yet possess.
Mato spirits. When Baba went fishing, he would say if you did not feed them some of your catch, <laughs> it meant trouble. Boat breakers. Boat breakers? Boat breakers. very much. I do. But tell me of your mama. Who was she? We should stay focused. Keep looking for the Ikakarambangal. This was it. Spirit should never linger in our world. The clear line now blurred as the boundaries broke. The ancient laws of the universe altering under the machinations of pain, regret, and restless purpose. They were consumed by confusion, of a hardship words could not quantify. Phantasmal entities now plagued the once peaceful lands Zhao called home. The raw emotions were all around him, his resolve shaken. This was his duty, his purpose to heal those wandering souls so malformed by their own devastation. It was not a cruel act. Baba had always been so clear on that. It was a passage, the shaman but a guide of the fallen. It had not occurred to Zhao how similar he and Kalunga were in that regard. Both had a duty. Both had a burden. You ran fast, eh? <laughs> Listen, I wish to apologize. I should... Hey! No, wait! Uh, wait! Why is she running? Why did you say she had little legs? Spirit. Remember, Zhao, a clever fennec can catch two hairs. What? The girl is bringing us closer to Ikakaramba. Right. Do you come up with these things yourself? I am sorry. Oh, no. 
are sweating. You are more than welcome to take over. Locked in the sky, suspended in the air, their piercing gaze fixed upon the prize. Wide were the hands of Baba to show the quality of the catch, bigger and bigger still with each telling of the tale. A catch of great fortune, but the Kongomato must be paid. Baba was so clear on that, for to not gift the Kongomato was to suffer the rough, to suffer the long swim back to the shore, or worse still. The waters are their domain. That is what he would proclaim as the young boy sat and absorbed the majesty of his father, the great feeder of beasts. from far away. What? I was trying to do one of your sayings. I do not understand. Fine? Fine.
now. This is not funny. I... Ah, God! Hmm. Jesus. Great baobab tree of Kinzera. Shamans would often rest in the hollow, meditating, considering life, death, and all between. You are a shaman now, Zhao. Perhaps such an act would yield a benefit to take a moment of respite, of reflection. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. it was good. When you are older, you will remember this, you know, or when I am gone, you will remember how annoying you are at these moments. And you will feel sorry for me, and you will laugh. <laughs> it was right.
clever fennec can catch two hairs. The lift to Ikakaramba. Do you sense that? Yes. The lift is incensed with spiritual energy. Those who are fleeing must have been trapped. Hmm. Make your preparations, shaman. This will not be easy. Be ready, Zhao. Did they deny you? They all have their reasons. So they said no to you and you just left them. Denial is a path that winds without end. Yet the path to its destination, it cannot bend. I do not understand. In time, you will. safe now, so no need to be scared of it anymore. Or me. You? 
Who is scared of you? Oh, because I ran. <laughs> I thought we were playing a game. A game? We leapt over pits of spikes, sweated over stone blocks, encountered boat breakers for a game? Uh, <laughs> well, I am Zhao, shaman of Amanla, and I wish to apologize to you for running recklessly over the bridge. I was careless. Oh, thank you. Mm, thinking of it, that was a bit scary. My name is Liana. Liana? I seek the great spirit of the sky. You mean in Pundalu? Yes. Do you know her? Yes. We would always play and laugh together. But then things started changing. A storm grew and grew. And in Pundalu was not the same anymore. No laughing. No playing. She went to the skies. The storms never stopped. Then everyone was gone. I stayed for Impundalu to make sure she was okay. But when I call her, she does not answer. That was who you were calling to on the bridge. Yes, I call and call and call and never an answer. She only stays within the skies. If we can just play again, me and her, then it will be okay. Liana, we need to stop these storms. For us to do so, we must get closer to the skies. Do you know how we can do that? Closer? I, I do, but the storms are... Now that is scary. The only way to reach the skies is through the waterworks, the highest point of Ikakaramba. But it has been locked since the village was abandoned. And the keys are deep within the mines, so I do not know. Eliana, <laughs> I know you are brave. I can see it. How about we go together, first to the mines? Really? You will really help us now? I will do my best. Yes! Thank you! Uh, maybe then Impundalu can play with me again. Thank you! I will see you by the entrance to the mines. Yes! Zao, Impundulu must be passed to the realm of the dead. Then you should have taken her when you had the chance. Excuse me? Never mind. Is there something on your mind, Zao? Leona is waiting for us. Yet determined. It was said that to bring the rain was to bring forth the fertility of the gods themselves. A dance of valued fortune, here possessed in the heart of this small girl. Liana, as the name was given, the blessings of the water imbued in the very content of her character. Delicate yet determined she seemed, like the wading rivers that bestow the green and the bounty to us all. Zhao saw within her a reflection of his younger days, of the adventurous soul that would spend an eternity embracing the quality of this world. He knew it in his heart. To help her was to help the world incarnate. For without the soul of the youth, this world would surely mean nothing.
to you, the great mines of Ikakaramba, where the water runs ever free. Oh, well, it used to. Then let us make it run free again. <laughs> where are the keys, Liana? There are two. I was playing with my friend Tabia, and we hit the keys all the way down at the bottom of the mine. Why did you do that? Tabia thought it would be funny. Mzejabari, the mine keeper, was always playing jokes. So, we wanted to get him back. <laughs> what did he think? I'm sure he found it funny. The storm had hit the village. So... Sorry, Liana. There is a lift further into the mine. Take that, and it will bring you down to where the keys are. Wait here then. I will not be long. said you should have taken him Bundulu when you had the chance. So much has happened, and I wonder whether things could have been prevented. Rare is it to change what has happened, but we can always choose how we move forward from it. The actions we are taking now will restore balance. That is what we must do, and we do so together.
fast key. One more to go. One key remaining. It must be on the other side of the mine. Niana really thinks that playing with Mpundulu is going to solve this. Denial can cloud one's perception. Hmm.
Listen, let us return to the top. She will understand what needs to be done. Mpundulu must be at peace. Nihana does not understand this. How can she? She is a child. Do you say this to convince her? Or yourself? Both the keys, Liana. Wait here for a bit. I will work out what to do.
Aditya Akida. Fascinating. Akida was no shaman. Her greatest feat was that of a loving sister. Armed with a spear imbued with the very essence of a star, her younger brother, who was a shaman, was struggling to defeat the dreaded swamp serpent, the Ninkinanka. She could not witness the demise of her brother, and so Akida seized the spear and launched it at the serpent. But the spear's power was only for the trained and proficient. Her action saved her brother, but at a grave cost to herself. Alas, all know of Akida's spear, a reminder of the sacrifice elders must make for the young. Come, let us put it to good use. Harness the energies out. Launch Akita's spear. Solemn since the great lift to Ikakaramba. It is a lot. The village, the storms, Liana. I know what needs to be done. It must be done for Baba. But it does not make it easy. Your duties as a shaman will never be easy. That is your path, your sacrifice. said that the beauty of this world is shown only by the care of those that defend it. To heal is not an action, but the persistence of the soul. Perpetual is the responsibility. Eternal is the battle of betterment. The lessons were true, but the path provided the practical experience. Liana stood on this path, and Zhao had a choice. Should a shaman walk around those that obscure the end in sight, or stop and find a way together. Zhao had to stop. He thought. He assumed. He knew that was his path.
legend. Like a legend? Yes, not quite a legend. Like a legend. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a moment. Let this somewhat legend figure out what to do next.
night before Baba passed. It was a quiet night. Quiet as always, but more than usual. For some reason, he felt good that night. I was sitting there, lost in thought, when suddenly I hear the clank of a mangala board. I think Baba could read my mind. Or maybe he knew it was his final. But there we were. We stayed up playing Mankala. Thank God. Baba was good at it. He always won. He told me stories. About me as a boy. About him when he was my age. About anything. We laughed together. We laughed so much. Some shamans say laughter is the best medicine. The next day was not easy. And it is only now I see what we gave each other the night before. And what is that? Normality. responsibilities as the mother. Her tragedy is holding on. Not letting go is the cause of all this pain. This is your task, Zhao. You must help Impundulu and Liana accept the natural cycle of life. To embrace change. understand that Impundulu holds on because she fears you taking on the responsibilities of disguise. The only way I can help her and you is to do my duty as a shaman, to allow her to pass on. Let us just go and play some more, eh? Maybe if we keep playing, Impundulu will see how much fun we are having and will join in. I'm sorry, Liana. I cannot do that. It... no! No, it... It is not fair! I... I... I do not like this! Liana! She will understand in time. 
Let us get this over with.
parent knows that one day they must step aside for their child. It can be hard to grasp. Becoming a parent can feel like the death of the self. But there is a liberation in acceptance. A feeling of rebirth. Soon, Liana will prosper. She will give love to this world. But first, she must find herself. Find her peace. We go west. To the woodlands now, yes? Hmm. The great spirit of nature resides there. Right. Let us go then. To the woodlands. The rain has arrived. I can feel the pressure of these guys easing. 